in this video i will be telling you what a nudge offset is and how how it is useful in various cases a nudge offset is uh, is a distance by which your object should be moved when you are using your keyboard for moving the objects uh, so here i have a new document with two objects this is a pentagon and this is a frame with a patterned background uh, so a nudge offset property is uh, this these these two properties are the nudge offset properties if you hover your mouse over it it will show the alt text that it is a nudge distance and we can set the distance for nudging the objects and if you hover over your hover your mouse over the other block it will show you the duplicate distance it sets the distance between the original object and the duplicate object i will come to both of i, I will tell you both of these uh, first of all i will tell you about uh, the nudge offset distance suppose you have this pentagon and uh, by default this i am using the a4 sh a4 size paper and it has its dimension like this 11 inches and 8 point something inches to be exact and uh, the units are inches for this document and uh, by default the nudge offset distance is set to uh, 0.01 inches so what it means is if i select this uh, pentagon and i try to use the arrow key to navigate this pentagon i will see that it is moving uh, point 0.01 inches at a time if i uh, if i am pressing the right arrow key and if i keep the right arrow key pressed it will move very slowly and it will take a uh, very long time to move suppose if i want to move the pentagon here then i can simply drag it using the mouse but if i'm using the keyboard i have to uh, keep it pressed for a lot of time so uh, in this case what i will do is i will click on the document on the document and i will select the nudge distance to be uh, at least let's say make it 0.50 inches so now whenever i will whenever i will try to uh, move the object it will move uh, 0.5 inches per uh, button click so you can see that it is moving much faster and there are a lot of there is a lot of uh, reduce there is a decrease in uh, in the number of key pressed by me in reaching the final state but uh, the nudge offset is uh, the lower nudge offset suppose i make it 0.02 in this case uh, it is uh, useful in those cases when there you have a very complex document and you are required to uh, align your objects very precisely with respect to one another in that case you are required to have a lower uh, nudge offset distance which is this one and you can even select the inches as per your requirement or you can uh, change the uh, units of the page and you can accordingly set the number of pixels to move at a time and uh, you can also select the various units such as millimeters die dots feet yards miles centimeters meters kilometers so this is about the distance and same is the case with this it will it is uniform for all the objects suppose i increase the nudge offset distance again to let's say 0.3 inches so if i will try to move it up down left right it will uh, try to travel uh, 0.3 inches at a time so this is about the nudge offset distance now let's come to the uh, this duplicate distance so uh, here i have two two blocks which first one is uh, the x distance of the x distance from the y so i will tell you uh, about this suppose i want to create the duplicate object of this pentagon i will create uh, i can uh, copy and paste it like this sorry i can copy and paste it like this or i can use the keyboard shortcut control plus d and uh, uh, as you can see it has moved uh, upward from the original object let me do it again you will see that the subsequent objects which are being duplicated are placed uh, apart with a certain distance control d you can see that all the objects are 
placed at a certain distance whereas if i use the copy and paste f using the mouse then i can place it anywhere that i want uh, so uh, what i'm going to do is do now is uh, i'm going to set this distance to uh, let's make it 1 inches let's make it 1 inches and let's make the y distance as 1.5 inches so let me show you what will happen now so i'm going to replicate this one i'm going to press control plus d you can see that uh, the distance between the current object which is this one and this object is the distance which is 1.5 inches from the x axis and 1.5 inches from the y axis away so i'm going to now uh, replicate the duplicate object so i'm going to press control plus d you can see that there is a fixed distance of the subsequent duplicate objects from their original objects uh, so uh, let's vary the y distance to 2.5 inches now we we will see what happens let me delete all these original objects i'm going to press control plus d now you can see that uh, the y distance has increased and the x distance is still the same so this is due to the nudge distance and uh, this property is very useful when you are required to uh, replicate certain amount of objects with a with a uh, fixed uh, with a fixed gap between them uh, in that case this property is very useful and uh, every property have its own use and uh, you have to uh, explore more and more and you have to play with the tools also to explore more about the nudge offset properties and uh, it all depends upon the use of your project you can do it like this you can uh, copy and paste the object using the mouse also but uh, this property is very useful when you are designing the complex pages and complex graphics so uh, all these properties the nudge distance and the duplicate distance is very useful in corel draw and are very useful for the designing of complex pages and graphics so guys thank you for watching see you in the next video